Hello, it's Brooks here, and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. This is uh, the continuation of the DLC Update 3, and I'm already loving it so much, as we all know. Now we need to figure out how to get up there, is the only issue here. I feel like these platforms might have something to do with it. And at this point, yes, the lag issues are completely gone. It was definitely uh, what I said in the last video. Wait, I want to try the multi-target system thingy. This might be a good time to do it. That is so cool! I love that. That is amazing. I forgot that we got that in the last video. Okay, that might confuse me. But that was actually pretty useful. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna do the old fashioned way. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Amy! Amy, where'd you gain so much momentum from? What happened there? I just all of a sudden had like way too much momentum and I... That was so weird. Okay. Anyways. Boom. Okay, it doesn't work if they're electrified. Got it. So let's wait for you to get unelectrified. And then we'll actually do it. Because I want to see this all five at once. Okay, looks like you can only do... But that actually did work. I don't know why I'm saying it looks like you can only do... Did I gain all the momentum from... Wait, now I got lost off. Okay, I need to be careful with this. It's a very powerful ability, but... Using it on the cannon seems to not be a good idea. That's for sure. Okay. So let's wait and... Go. Boom. All five deleted. Because Amy is amazing. Okay. Now we need to be extremely careful here because I've fallen like five times. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore the can- I meant to double jump there. No, I'm just gonna ignore the cannons. Trying to homing attack on them is just a death sentence. I'm pretty sure Amy could just make the jump herself. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. It's not like it's hard to take out these robots anyways. This is the part that I keep failing. So we're gonna immediately jump to the ground, boost, then jump. I feel like these cannons are just a death sentence, you know? So we should be able to make this jump if we do a spin dash. See, that was pretty nice. Now this jump, I feel like we actually do need the cannon. So we need to be extremely careful. Okay, there we go. See, this platform is already very tricky. Okay, there we go. Then we're at the top. We can ignore this cannon for sure. I want to try and ignore as many cannons as possible, honestly. Because I don't want to end up falling. Jeez. Okay, this is a pretty small platform, especially for a Sonic game. You're pretty fast in Sonic games, so... I was actually surprised that we need to go with such a thing. Okay. Her jump is a little hard to control sometimes. Okay, let's patiently wait and boom. Take that. Excellent. Okay, we gotta be careful where we land on that too. Wait, is that an actual Chaos Emerald? Did we actually win? Or is it another fake? I hope not. It's blocked. I should have known. But at least you know where it is now, Amy. So that's good. Wait, we're we playing as Knuckles now? Just like that? Okay. But we didn't even manage to get the Chaos Emerald yet. I guess we just have to find it. Here, just swap. Amy will be playable later. Feel free to progress through the game and return any to Amy later to complete any unfinished tasks. Okay, destroyed it in task form. Oh, I get it. So we need we need uh, Knuckles to help us now. I do not know why I just jumped straight into lasers. I thought it was a good idea, okay? So let's test out Knuckles. So Knuckles has a glide, obviously. So let's go ahead and gather all this stuff. I definitely want to 100% this later on, though. 
There we go. Knuckles. Okay, so we got Knuckles right here. Let's see what else we got. Let's check their skill tree. Oh, okay. Small mid air jump, wall climb, glide. The skill tree looks very similar to Amy's. Drop being mid air and deal damage to enemies below. I feel like we definitely just need to unlock the silo. Because it really hold, held us back without it. There we go. Perfect. Now, I actually was not expecting the, the first part to be so short. So hopefully we get to go play as Amy later. But for now we just got the side loop, which is awesome. So I'm going to try and get as many collectibles as we can so we can experience as much Knuckles gameplay as possible. Of course these are some easy, easy experience points to get. Destroy impact form. Got it. I'm hoping that we just swap characters a lot in this, and this isn't the last we see of Amy. Because it's stuff we could play as Amy later, but I'm not sure if that means, like, after the story is done. It might actually mean that. It'd be interesting. So Knuckles is already super cool. I'm so glad that we can actually play as him again. I always loved playing Knuckles gameplay in the Avenger games. It's one of my favorites, the treasure hunting stages. They're actually pretty great. The only stages I really didn't like in the Adventure games was the mech stages, Sonic Adventure 2. But I like the Gamma stages. No, not the Gamma stages. The E-102, you know, the robot. Okay, that was a little glitchy here. Either that or I'm just terrible at actually playing the game. So let's see. Wait, what if I don't need to jump off? Wait, hold on. I'm not used to Knuckles. Oh, wait, he can just climb walls like that. Okay. Like that. Oh, I get it. So we can't jump to the side like that. That's how we fall. Okay, this is a little bit trickier than I first anticipated it would be. I thought Knuckles could just switch sides of the wall, you know? But it just isn't possible. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. What I've noticed is the jump is a little hard to control sometimes. With Amy and with Knuckles, apparently. See, Knuckles just can't switch sides like I thought they could. And Knuckles can't just climb any surface. Which is good, because that would kind of break the game a little. See, this is what I thought I could do. It's because I kept hitting the wall, that's why. Duh. That's cool. So, Knuckles can switch sides, like, super easily. Okay, let's do this again. I really love the uh, the wall climbing. How it's red. I I I don't know. Like I like I prefer the red for the blue. I I don't know why I'm saying this. I just do. Okay, now we have to go all the way over here. This is a long climb. This better be worth it. Oh no, is there a laser chasing us? Oh, there's lasers now. Okay, I get it. We don't even have any rings yet, so I need to be extremely careful. Luckily, I actually did do a playthrough of Extreme Mode before playing this, because as 100% game. So Extreme Mode shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. There we go, perfect. We just gotta patiently wait right now, and go. Awesome. Also, I love Knuckles Steam right now. It is so bumping right now. I might actually go silent for a second so you can hear the music. Ooh, nice, we unlocked more of the map. That's actually going to be very handy. There we go. So there's a bunch of stuff we can still do. I feel like I want to head towards that puzzle that's marked. This one? Just so we can unlock a little bit more of the map. Have you noticed that we're unlocking like barely any parts of the map? Even though we're doing like... like I feel like you unlock more of the map by doing more puzzles, you know? Oh, this is a pretty tricky looking jumping puzzle. Okay. Actually, no, this isn't that bad. I forget how great the jumping physics are in the open world. If this was in Cyber... Oh. Okay, game. 
You wanna you wanna play the game of me going too slow? I got it. Well, watch this. Watch me go too fast. Okay, this is not any faster, is it? Yeah, okay. I don't think we can do this with Knuckles. Knuckles just isn't equipped, you know? Please let me climb. Oh, you can't climb that wall. But it makes sense. It really does. Because it breaks the game. Okay, so let's try and figure out a different route, I guess. So let's not do that puzzle for now. Let's just try and head towards our objective. Oh, is this a knuckle pack? I if we cannot tell. Let me see. I don't know. I guess I'll just continue on and see if I can find anything. That looks like an Amy path. Oh wait, or maybe a Sonic path because it's blue. Yeah, it's probably a Sonic path, honestly. At least we can get this experience while we're here. So that's good. Okay, that's a Tails path. Okay, I'm not seeing any alternative stuff we can do right now. Let's see what our map says. Over here is a bunch of stuff, like a new map unlocker. One of those weird things that we got that we have no idea does. Yet. Oh yes, infinite boost. I forgot we could do that. Oh, it looks like there's an enemy in the way. Let's actually test out Knuckles' gameplay. Tank Plus! Oh, before I fight Tank Plus, let's find some rings. So Knuckles just not allowed to have any rings. I could probably get some rings by side looping. I don't know why I ran away. Yeah, one lookout, Coco. This is the thing I had no idea what it does at all. Do you think it has to do with those tall towers that we're seeing in the distance? Maybe. Okay, anyways. Let's see if I can silent some brains. Okay, there we go. Now let's actually fight Tank Plus. Which I'm excited for, because it seems like an even more tough enemy. But first I want to upgrade some stuff for Knuckles. Because I want to get some new combat abilities, you know? Because it might be a lamb trying to attack him, but just one ability. And then we'll see the true power of Knuckles, the Echidna. So let's see, so we got this one or combo attack. Close range punching attack, replay plus three. Okay, let's do combo attack. Because that will be more useful against, uh, tank. Oh, cool. Knuckles has, like, fire attacks, too. Okay, so we need to be careful. Oh, wait, did we unlock this yet? Yes, we got another lookout Kiko. Which we still have no idea what these do. But I'm glad we got them. There's just so many new collectibles. This is great. So, it's kind of like having four islands in one, when you think about it, because we have the one character. You know? But each character has to explore different parts of the island. So that's what it feels like to me, honestly. There we go. Perfect. Is this a puzzle that we can actually solve? We can probably solve this puzzle. This looks easy. So definitely going to be... Okay, white then black. Pretty sure. No, wait, actually, I think it's white setting on top of black. Or is it purple? Hmm. They actually make this puzzle a little tricky. Let's try black and see what that does. Okay, black definitely settled on the bottom. Then it should be white. White shouldn't settle on top. Okay, there we go. Then purple. Definitely purple next. And then yellow should be last. So yeah, they definitely made this puzzle more tricky. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, okay, I get it now. So how do we reset this puzzle? I think we have to solve it wrong. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I solved it really wrong. Okay, I get it now. Wait, I just highlighted this. Can I please uh, have this? Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. So it's gonna be black, then purple, then white. It was either white, then purple, or purple, then white. No, that's wrong. It has to be purple first. Uh. 
I'm so bad at geometry, apparently. Basic geometry. But I do like what they're doing to the puzzle. They're definitely a lot trickier now. Like, way trickier. But that's really cool. Okay, so let's try this again. So, we need to do purple first before anything else. There we go. Then black. Black neck would make sense to me. There we go, now it's fitting together. Then white. Come on, then white. And then, uh, let's see, uh, blue and then yellow. Wait, what's happening? Oh, the Starfall event! I didn't realize that would happen in DLC, I was like, what is this? I actually had it disabled while I was 100% in the game because I had max uh, purple coins and it had already done all the fishing mini games. Ooh, Starfall Plus. That's actually cool. We'll actually go for that because that sounds really cool to me. It reset my puzzle! Or did it? It did! You reset my puzzle! No! Oh, I didn't know you could re-side loop to pop the box off. That probably works in the base game, and I just never knew. That was rude, though. I didn't like how to reset my puzzle. I worked so hard to solve this, too. Then there goes the game, just trying to take it away from me. How rude. Okay, so let's see. So we did black next. Then white. Go. Perfect. Then we need to do this one. Blue. I gotta be careful to make sure that we're not solving any puzzles while there's a star fall about to happen, but there's no way to predict that. I always thought it happened when you defeat a lot of enemies, but I guess it happens randomly. Which we barely defeated any enemies as Knuckles right now. There we go, now we unlock more of the map. But we still have no idea what that, like, weird Coco thing is. So let's see, so this looks like the area we need to go, but... Where did that robot go? There was a tank plus plus I wanted to fight. Oh, I bet it would be marked on the map. As a boss. Duh. I forget, it's actually very simple to find things in Sonic Frontiers. So you can just mark them with the waypoint. No, I don't want to take this path quite yet. I would like to try and find... Oh, wait a second. There's no slot machine? Starfall Plus is just a bunch of collectibles. Interesting. It's basically just free level ups, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can find the tank dude again. Wait, is the enemy up there now? I don't understand. Oh, it's one of these dudes. I guess we uh, didn't do it correctly. But this dude is annoying though. Also, what's going on with my Coco? Why is it progressively counting up? I don't understand, honestly. Okay, let's see where you're gonna go first. I feel like this dude would be more tricky if it was just platforming. Okay, first we need a silent. I forget, silent. Come on, let me silent. Okay, boom. Jeez, they made him way more powerful. My rings are almost gone. Well, they're one fourth gone, actually. Okay. They actually made this boss a lot harder, which I'm all for. Okay, camera work with me. Okay. Okay, let's be careful here. Okay, we can probably make this jump. Yes, we can. Jeez, we almost lost all our rings already. This is not good. We have max rings, too. We have max rings going into this boss fight. They supercharged their black holes or something. Okay. I think we can make this jump to the pillar. Yes, we can. Okay. Awesome. There we go. Boom. I think the boost jump is more reliable than Knuckles' double jump, honestly. Because it just feels weird. Oh, they were still not done? You've gotta be kidding me. 
can we even make this jump? Okay, we probably can. We just gotta jump to one of these cubes, or I mean one of these towers, actually. Oh no, 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 no. Our rings, our rings are just, they're just being drained away like they're nothing. Oh no, get away from the black hole knuckles. Okay, grab, grab the power up. I mean, not the power up, substrate. And go. Wait. Wait, you're it, right? Wait, what? I silenced you. Do we need to hit this? Wait, where even is the tower I'm looking for? Actually. Oh, it's over there! I went the wrong way! Oh no, I was looking at something else. Oh! That was crazy. I think that was the objective that I headed towards. Oh, no. This makes me very sad. But there's tons of upgrades, at least. So that's cool. Okay, let's try and actually level up and then maybe take on the enemy. I don't know. I don't see how leveling up will actually help us in this case. I guess this could help us. Generate a shockwave by using the Y gauge on the ground. This can move in the air use. So generate a shockwave by using the gauge and punching the ground. This could move can also be used in mid-air. Use this near special signs to make objects and items appear. I feel like we might need this for, um, you know, the, uh, the impact form. The sign knuckle. Oh, that's so cool. I really love all the animations that they put in. Like, they went all out for this update, honestly. Feels like. Okay, let's head towards our waypoint again. Let me guess, our waypoint got unmarked because I failed. That's absolutely rude. And we're gonna ignore it, okay? Oh, I, I can still climb blue, even though I'm not Sonic. I guess it makes sense. I just thought all the colors were associated with the other characters. Okay. So what we need to do is get back up there. And this time I think we can do it perfectly. Now my question is, what is with the counter? Is like this, am I collecting like Scared Coco as the Starfall Plus happens? Or is this something else, you know? Alrighty, let's work on defeating you. The ghost. I just cannot believe how much more powerful you are now. It's very annoying. I gotta remember, you gotta wait for the cutscene and then you can silence. Which means you can drain your wings a little bit. But I guess it's okay. I can't believe they actually made this boss tricky. It's actually surprising. Cause this boss used to be super easy, even in the base game. Okay, we're climbing up a tower, that's all that matters. There we go, boom. Actually, the double jump does feel natural now. I don't know, maybe I got used to it, or maybe I'm just imagining things, and the double jump's always been this way. That could also be dead. That could also be it. Okay, at least the Starfall ended. Did we collect 770 Scared Coco or something? Just by... Oh no. No, don't fall off. Jeez, 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 jeez. Do not fall off. Whatever you do, do not fall off. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, do you think we can get back up by climbing up here? Yeah, we probably can. Oh no. I don't like this tight platforming. It's so difficult. Okay. I think we might be able to reach one of the towers by jumping off this mountain, honestly. If we just do this, then we might be able to reach this lower one. Yes, we can, but we've drained all our rings trying to do this. Okay, there we go. Oh, and Knuckles can boost up, uh, and climb. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that's gonna be uh, super handy. I didn't, I wasn't sure if Knuckles could boost and climb. But they can. Which makes sense, because climbing is their specialty. Okay, so now we know that it's all the way over here. And we should be able to reach this. Yeah, this one should have been easy. I don't know why I was taking my sweet time with climbing. I guess I just assumed that Knuckles couldn't boost while climbing. But then what would be the point? Because you had to climb that really high tower before. At least now we know that Ghost is defeated. And what are we going to get? A gear? Did we actually get a gear? 
Okay, so we're gonna need gears. Apparently. Okay, so I wanna head towards this thingy. Let's try hitting X with it. Oh, boom, 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 boom. This must be the impact form. Boom! It seems like this weird new Choco is very happy. Destroy another impact form. I don't really see a time li limit right now, honestly. Okay. You keep doing that, Tails. Okay, this looks like an Amy path. However, we could we should be able to reach a Knuckles path from here. Like so. No, I'm not going slow. I'm going fast. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. So am I not even boost here? Jeez, okay. We need to be careful. I just was not expecting the platforming to be so much more difficult than the, than the base game. This is almost as difficult as the DLC platforming. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're a lot higher before we start gliding. Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to make it... Okay, this is making me very nervous. Whoa! I didn't even notice that. That was my bad. Honestly. This is making me very nervous because this platforming is a little difficult. The glide is very, very, uh, turn-like. Like, you don't turn right away with the glide. So it feels kind of weird. But that's okay. That's okay. Because really, you're going to be gliding in a straight line anyways. So turning isn't really necessary. And I think it limits the gliding in a way that's good. Let's try actually making it to this one. What? I should not fall in off there. Okay, you can't glide boost, but you can boost the midair and then glide. Interesting. Okay, so this this platforming section is actually much trickier than I thought. It's more like a puzzle at this point. Cause I need to figure out which ones I can reach or which ones to go to. Okay, we didn't reach that one quite at all. That's the reason why you kept falling off of it. There we go. Perfect. I almost wonder if we could change the gliding controls a little. I don't think it would be completely necessary, but... It might be possible. So we'll try doing this. And then jumping here. Oh! I'm trying to take it slow. Okay. You've got to stop being so rude to me. Jeez. That, that was so annoying. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's try taking Amy's path again. And then gliding over here. Because it's much easier. Come on camera, work with me. Okay, well, I did not understand why turning the camera would like a game like that. But okay. Oh, it's because of saving. Sometimes it will lag when it's saving. I don't know why. It's the only time that the game actually truly lags. I never understood it. Okay. So we need to be extremely careful here because this is actually pretty tricky. Okay. So what was the path we were taking last time? I feel like we can make it all the way to this wall. Then once we're on this wall, oh, we have to make it backwards to this wall? Hmm. It's actually kind of tricky what we need to do. I'm actually having a little bit of an issue trying to figure it out. There we go. Okay, so we're way higher now. Okay, sometimes the climbing is a little weird when you're on these sideways ones. That's also another thing I'm struggling with. Okay, looks like there's a switch right here. Interesting. So what does the switch do? Oh, nice! I think this is the center area we're supposed to reach. So this will unlock more of the map for us. Awesome. So let's see, how much more of the map have we unlocked? Quite a lot. Cool. So let's see where this thing takes us. 
Okay, so all of that for unlocking the map was actually totally worth it. Because the more the map we unlock, it's way better. And I already, I already feel like Knuckles section is much longer than Amy's. But it might just be because I'm terrible at platforming, apparently. Let's also get some infinite boost in. Just because we'll go a little bit faster by doing that. There we go. Now I want to try that side. Oh wait, we need a charge, don't we, in order to do that. Which that meter I never understood in the game until like way later. It's like the side loop meter right there. That basically just means you can't side loop during combat. And once it's filled, you can. Which is probably why I can't do that fancy move that we unlocked right now. Wait, have we already gotten experience from you? Can we just rob experience over and over again? Is that allowed? I doubt it. Well, we just got 3,000 experience. That's actually really good. Let's keep robbing all the experience. And start upgrading Knuckles as much as possible. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what's in here. What treasure awaits. Okay, we got another lookout, Coco. We can still have no idea what these do. So we're still collecting gears. So maybe it's a combination of lookout Coco and gears in order to get the Chaos Emeralds. I'm just not too sure, you know? Okay, let's check our map and see what we need to explore next. Okay, we're starting to head towards where you're with the Amy, which is interesting. See, I'm not sure if I activated you before or not is the issue. Because I thought it highlighted them in a red circle to show you that you've used them. But they're still giving me experience. I guess not as much. Okay. I didn't quite understand that. Okay, this is another puzzle. Let's see if we can actually solve this one. So we clearly need to silent this. There we go. So that opens that up. Okay. And then what is this? Oh, this is one of those things you have to spot. We have to find multiple? So this is like a multi-puzzle. Interesting. Oh, we don't have a stomp yet with her knuckles. We might actually be able to unlock such a thing. There we go, heat stomp. Boom! Ooh, that's actually really cool. We barely even gotten to see Knuckles in combat, though. I really want to find one of those enemies again. I can't believe I lost track of them. Oh, we can still upgrade. That's good. Um, let's see, what else can we get? Hold LB to repel attack. Oh, parry. Duh. Boom. Okay, cool. They added a parry. It's not contingent on the timing. I know. I know how pairing works, game. I've played this game before. What do you think I'm playing the DLC? What do you think I speedrun the game? Use some um, uh, speedrunning tricks just so I could... I don't know. Actually make it now. Okay, so this is the one that we haven't solved quite yet. My issue is trying to find out where the last one is. Oh, actually that counted. Okay, cool. So now we need to side loop these torches. Okay. We actually, since Knuckles is level 1, I might actually be able to just do a, a boost side loop. Which you're not really able to do when Sonic's max level, but Knuckles is level 1. So it's a lot more controllable. Okay, so we need you now. So there's one more to find. The real question is, where is the puzzle? It's as simple as... Oh wait, it's a two torch puzzle, isn't it? Okay, let's unlock this one. Boom! Okay, we must have unlocked everything. That was a lot of work, just for one little area of the map, honestly. Good thing we get some upgrades and stuff. Cool. Okay, let's actually head towards where we're supposed to. Now, so we want to get up there. I'm not sure what the uh, easiest route will be though. Okay, that does not seem to help us at all. 
let's see. Ooh, we could try gliding, I guess. Or maybe over where that tower is? Maybe that might be a good idea. I'm surprised that Knuckles has to encounter so many of these ghost dudes. Because these things are really annoying. And they're not very combat oriented, they're more platforming oriented. I want to see Knuckles in combat. I kind of think of it, we barely saw Amy in combat too. So if this is the only time we get to play as each character, then I want to make sure that I make it count, you know? Okay, I feel like this may be a slower route that we're taking now. Okay, this is definitely like a multi-character platform here. No, I want to see what this unlocks. Can I not unlock this? I cannot. Okay, good to know. Okay, let's try and head to the top now. Okay, here is the next tower. There we go, side loop it. Oh, that's not even the next tower. Where is it? Where is the next tower at? Okay, we're gonna fail again. Oh, it's the bottom one! Ah. Okay, you have to unlock the first tower first. Before we go back to the next one. We just wasted the majority of our range. This is not good. Okay, we need to be super careful too. Because this is going to become a huge issue. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, run, 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 run. Boom. Okay, perfect. Okay, get out of here. Please, please have mercy on me. No more black holes. My rings. Why am I losing rings? Oh, you ate all my rings. That's why. The ring drain is insane now. No. No, I'm just trying to climb up. Jeez. Won't you just let me climb up, please? I did nothing to you. I did nothing to you. I'm just trying to live, okay? Okay, we might actually fail. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom. Could this be the last one? It's not. We failed. No, wait, we actually lived. But we're not gonna live for long. That's for sure. Oh, oops. That was terrible. I know how to side loop, okay? That's not the reason why I failed. It's because I kept getting spammed with black holes. Actually, the reason why I failed is because I missed the first tower. But we're gonna ignore that and head back towards it. And perhaps this will help us get to our main objective in the first place, anyways. Okay, Mr. Ghost. Get ready to be ready. Okay, this time we need to be more patient because... You missed the first tower. And that really hurt us a lot. So this should help us. There we go. And I feel like even trying to get more rings while side looping would be a waste of time, honestly. I don't understand why you're lagging the game, Ghost. That's extremely rude. I'm just trying to play your game. Wait, what am I doing climbing all these blocks? Oh, wait. Because I need to get up here. Because it's much easier than trying to climb around. That's why. We're already at 300 rings. And we hardly even touched any black holes here. Did I forget to silence the tower again? Ah. Uh. We failed. We failed. I'm just gonna let myself go. Okay, I don't know why I did that. Anyways. <clears throat> okay, let's do this one more time and then we'll end the video. If I can't do it, I'm gonna be extremely upset. Ghost. Cool, I get it. You're a ghost. Now we have to wait for this cutscene. See, my issue is I keep side-looping it too early. You have to wait until it starts draining your ring to side-loop it. There we go, that was perfect. Now we just gotta execute the rest of this part perfectly. But for some reason this part likes to lag. Okay, apparently it didn't lag this time. Interesting. Okay, so what we wanna do is take this path instead, because it's much faster. And also we have to take a more optimal route every single time too. Okay, there we go. Perfect, we've reached the second tower, and we've only lost about 50 rings. We're on pretty good pace right now. Only issue now is I haven't climbed the rest of this tower. 
So I honestly do not know which area we need to go to next. Oops. That was bad. Why would I ever want to do that? That was a bad path. Oh jeez. Stop it, Ghost. Stop lagging my game. I cannot play a game that's lagging like this. Okay. You kid are cool. I never understood. Also, Ghost always logs my game because I'm moving. No other enemy, not even the final boss, will lag my game, but Ghost does. I guess it's the black hole effect on it, too. Oh no, I just I just initiated a jump before I, I should have. You have to wait for the cutscene. Oh no. Oh no, I was not expecting this to actually get tricky. Knuckles, please, please, glide, glide, glide. Okay, we're actually on there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so where's the actual tower at? The real question. All the way up there? Okay, that's insane. Okay, so we gotta hit some buttons before we can progress at all. Oh no, it actually would have been better to take those rings, wouldn't it? Okay, no more black holes, please. I don't appreciate any kind of black holes at all. Okay, can we just climb to the top? We can't, okay. Where do we need to go next? We can't just swap characters, can we? We can't just make it up there. The issue I'm having right now. We need to somehow get to a platform. Oh, maybe these, these rainbow rings. These rainbow rings will save us, right? Yes! Yeah, there's no way we would have made this without with missing one tower. It wouldn't have been possible. Even if I did go super fast. Thank you, ghost. Okay, let's actually jump towards this and stomp right there. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.